But the next question we're going to look at is number 14. Now, this is a transition word question. And so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to cross out the word that is already written in the passage for when I read this. And I will explain why as we go. So we left off after number 13. So we'll start reading from there. This practice of continued education, also known as professional development, benefits not only employees, but also their employers. Okay, so after I read that sentence, I need to understand what that means before skipping over the transition word to read the next part. Okay, so after the transition word, we have meaningful professional development is a shared responsibility. It is the responsibility of employers to provide useful programs, and it is also the responsibility of employees to take advantage of the opportunities offered to them. Okay, now the reason that I crossed out the word that was there initially is because I want to anticipate the relationship between these two sentences. So I have three options. This could either be continuation, which is the first category of transition word, or it could be contrast, so opposing ideas, or it could be an even more special type of continuation, which we call cause and effect. So any transition word will fall into one of these three categories. And by identifying the relationship between the two sentences, we can figure out which category our answer choice should be in. So our first sentence told us that professional development is useful for employees and employers. Then the second sentence told us that the professional development is a shared responsibility. So both parties get something out of it and both parties are responsible for it. That to me sounds like cause and effect, right? Because everyone is benefiting, everyone has to be responsible. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to look in the answer choices for a word that falls under the category of cause and effect, right? Accordingly, maybe, maybe you're not totally sure, just leave it for now. Never eliminate unless you know for sure. Nevertheless, that is definitely a contrast word. So that's out. Same thing with regardless. Similarly, okay, so that's continuation, but it's not specifically cause and effect. And so I can also get rid of that one. Okay, so that leaves me with A, accordingly. 